Basically in my stories I either write about Indonesia or I write about Nebraska. Penulis muda ini memang berdarah campuran Indonesia Amerika. Nama saya Nadia Bolkin. Saya tinggal di Washington DC dan saya penulis cerita-cerita horor. I only write about the places that I know and yeah, I definitely like to use it as an opportunity to bring a different perspective to a western horror audience. Nadia Bolkin mulai menerbitkan cerpen horor sejak umur 21 tahun untuk mencari uang saku saat kuliah. Karena suka kisah-kisah horor, sejak awal ia selalu memasukkan tokoh hantu dalam tulisannya. I actually have never had a paranormal experience and do not want to have a paranormal experience, but I think that horror is really fun, um, exciting and lets you do a lot of experimentation. Cerpen Nadia bertema supernatural dan psikologis. Ia banyak menggali kisah supernatural yang disampaikan keluarganya waktu kecil tinggal di Indonesia, dipadukan dengan latar pendidikan ilmu politiknya. Some of that comes from listening to their stories about Kajawan beliefs, um, beliefs that there are, there is black magic practitioners who can, you know, curse you with a look. Um, so you have to be very careful. Um, that was also the kind of stories that I just grew up with from my parents' friends. Um, I think that their <laughs> Indonesians really love scaring children with <laughs> scary stories. Menurut Nadia, pembaca kisah horor suka mempelajari makhluk atau monster dari budaya berbeda, sehingga tak jadi halangan baginya untuk menulis berlatar budaya Indonesia bagi komunitas horor Amerika. Usually my messages are about um, social messages or about politics or um, kind of about the the, con the consequences of people's actions, but I, I my genre is sort of socio-political horror is what I call it. So, um, I definitely write with a message, yes. 13 cerpen horor Nadia telah diterbitkan ke dalam buku berjudul She Said Destroy tahun 2017 had already washed the bullet in holy water that he said came from the very north of the Equator Springs. Selain memperoleh berbagai nominasi seperti This is Horror Award, She Said Destroy dibuka dengan kata pengantar oleh Paul Tremblay, penulis favorit Nadia. Paul telah menerbitkan 10 buku, termasuk The Cabin at the End of the World, yang baru-baru ini difilmkan dengan judul Knock at the Cabin. Paul mulai mengenal Nadia tahun 2008 saat membaca cerpennya Intertropical Convergence Zone. And soon after reading it, it's like, oh, I need to know who this person is. <laughs> Because that, that story really sort of, um, it, it excited me, it threw me for a loop. I'd never really read anything right it. And frankly, at the time, I was really upset that someone as young as she was at the time wrote that story. Bagi Paul, Nadia adalah salah satu penulis horor kontemporer favoritnya. What, what I deeply admire about her work is, you know, how, how smart she is and how smart the stories are. Uh, and she's able to get her many points across without being didactic, without sort of preaching. You know, she lets the story do the work. Di tengah kesibukan kerjanya sebagai peneliti, Nadia tengah menggarap sebuah novel dan koleksi cerita pendek terbaru. Dari Washington DC, Ariadne Budianto, Nia Iman Santoso, VOA.